Hi there, Pastor Allen here. The city of Springfield and Greene County have released the next set of orders for our area. And a part of these orders is that churches will not be able to gather in person until at least May 31st. Um, there's a couple things I wanted to reach out with you about and touch base with you about even before I send out my normal pastor letter on Saturday where I'll cover more of it before we talk about it on Sunday where we'll talk a little bit more about it. But I just wanted to touch base with you and, and, and mention three things. Number one, scripture is clear that our civil servants are ministers of God. And as part of this, I am asking you to be gracious to your leadership, regardless of whether you agree with it and regardless of whether or not uh, you understand it. I understand the position of leadership and how difficult it is to make decisions based on all of the information that you have that maybe not everybody else has. And so I'm just gonna ask you to be gracious towards our leadership. Second, I do want to mention also that I believe God is going to use this next month very specifically at Praise to give us a platform to minister for years to come. Truly believe that, and I believe God's giving us the space to make that happen. I am so excited about it. There have been incredible things happening, people's lives being changed, and it's a result of how God has stretched us during this process. I've seen some of how he's turning it for good. So I'm also just wanted to mention that to you. Third, I wanna just specifically address the drive-in church idea. They specifically, in the release, the order, offered for churches to do a drive-in church setup. So everybody comes in, drives in, parks on the parking lot, and then across the parking lot, um, uh, they do singing and teaching. I have some pastor friends that I've talked to about that who've done this. Uh, those who've done it well, those who, who said, boy, I, I wish I could have done that better. What I've been thinking through and talking through and praying with about the staff in regards, in regards to that, it does not seem like the right fit for us. And so I just want you to imagine with us what that might look like, because I know this is an idea that's been floated even over the last several weeks. Imagine that you come and you park on the parking lot. As part of our service, you might not be able to see us because you're halfway across the parking lot. All the worship, all the message is happening somewhere else. You'll be able to hear it, maybe through your radio or whatever, um, but you won't be able to see it. Now, my kids, when they can't see what's happening, they get a little crazy, right? And they're climbing over each other. I can just totally imagine my kids much more restless than normal. And so then that doesn't even also account for all of those people who wouldn't even have the option to join with us for drive-in church. And so what, what I'm mentioning here and what I'm talking about here really is a month. Um, we've got the month of May. And I believe that if we as a staff, as leadership, if we take the month of May and we invest it uh, long term, let's call it sowing seed. Let's say we sow seed um, into our ability to do online church even better. We believe that sowing that seed during the month of May will bring results, not just for a month, but for the next 10 years and truly even into eternity. So what I'm asking you to do here is just to trust us, to trust that we've worked on it, we've thought through it, it's not the right fit for us. And then to come along with us as we kind of shift focus in the weeks to come and in the month to come. And really, truly, we've been seeing great things and we believe God is calling us further in this. So join with us in praying for wisdom and guidance from above that the Holy Spirit would lead us through this process and that he would help us to keep in step with his spirit. And then thank you. Thank you for offering grace to us as your leadership. Thank you for being the type of church that it is a joy to serve. God bless you today.